In a significant turn of events in the Corey Bigsby trial in Hampton, a judge's decision to admit multiple conflicting confessions is casting doubt on their reliability. Bigsby's statements about his son Cody's disappearance vary greatly from finding Cody unresponsive in Virginia to burying him in Maryland, where no evidence was found. Bigsby's defense claims their client was tortured, and former Hampton Police Chief Mark Talbot acknowledged what he called errors during the interrogation. Legal expert Cedric Severino highlights the issues with these confessions. He explains that confessions made under duress or coercion aren't just legally problematic, they fundamentally violate a defendant's rights. These confessions often come from a place of panic, not voluntary admission. There are allegations that Bigsby's confessions were coerced, with potential promises of family visits if Bigsby would just say what the officers wanted him to say. This sharply contrasts with jail authorities' claims of prioritizing Bigsby's mental health. Severino warns of the ethical and legal risks in using coerced confessions, emphasizing the responsibility of prosecutors and defense attorneys in such situations. The defense aims to show the varying nature of Bigsby's confessions, highlighting the potential for wrongful conviction. Severino notes that juries heavily rely on confessions, making their authenticity crucial. The prosecution's use of these confessions could reveal details of the interrogation process, possibly indicating mistreatment. Severino calls for transparent investigative practices, including uninterrupted videotaping of confessions to prevent coercion. This trial is more than just about Bigsby. It's a litmus test for the justice system's handling of confessions obtained under questionable circumstances. Historical cases like John McCain's false confessions under torture and the wrongful convictions of the Central Park Five serve as stark reminders of the dangers of coerced confessions. For more on this story and its implications, subscribe to BreakingThrough.com.